what we do know at this point based on the preliminary information is that again our off-duty detective was traveling in the 12,200 block of East FM 1431 in Burnett County when he came across a scene uh, where he saw a suspect firing a weapon at civilian citizens that were uh, in the immediate area. Uh, he recognized that uh, lives were in danger. Uh, he immediately uh, stopped his car, exited his vehicle, and uh, fired his weapon at the suspect in this incident. Uh, he did end up striking the suspect, uh, thereby ending the threat that he posed to the individuals that were also involved in this incident. We believe uh, at this time that there was some type of a disturbance that occurred between two different vehicles along this stretch of roadway that led to the violent encounter that our officer showed up upon and ultimately took action at. So we think that's what led up to what the detective uh, showed up at and led him to take the actions that he took. Uh, the individual that was firing this weapon, the suspect in this incident, uh, is a 55 year of age white male. Uh, he was struck uh, by a uh, uh, bullet, by gunfire, um, and that is, will be part of the ongoing investigation. He was transported to a uh, local area hospital where, where he was found to not have uh, life-threatening injuries. His injuries were not life-threatening. Uh, again, this in case is under investigation by the Department of Public Safety along with the Burnett County Sheriff's Department. The Austin Police Department's Internal Affairs Division was on scene along with the Office of the Police Monitor and we will conduct the administrative investigation. Uh, the detective involved in this incident is a 19-year veteran of the Austin Police Department and as is our typical practice, he will be placed on administrative duty while we conduct these investigations and we are fully uh, uh, participating, cooperating as necessary with uh, the agencies that are conducting this investigation. What does it say about the 24-7 nature uh, of the job? Obviously this detective, not in his jurisdiction, not on duty, uh, but encounters uh, such a situation where uh, he steps forward and uh, obviously involves himself. I think this highlights the fact, you know, we talk about this, that as a police officer, even when you're off duty, you may be on duty, and that's why you always have to be aware, you have to pay attention, and you have to be prepared to take action. Because from what I understand the facts to be, our detective saves, saved lives last night uh, based on the actions that he took. Had he not been on that stretch of roadway at that time, there's really no telling what would have happened because the act of aggression that he came across um, may have resulted in loss of life. If I remember correctly, this is the first officer-involved shooting since around May. Um, can you speak to you know use of force by the department? Have you seen um, you know more restrained measures taken by officers in the past few months? You know, I think our officers are always restraining their use of force and trying to use force only in those instances where they're trying to overcome resistance. Um, this is the first officer-involved shooting that uh, we have had since the uh, incident that occurred on Sixth Street um, uh, many months back.